Hi everybody, my name is Andrew with Laser Eyes, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Sparrow Wallet on your Mac. So the Sparrow Wallet is a free Bitcoin wallet and um, I use it every day. So um, I'll be installing this on the Mac OS 13, nicknamed Ventura. Um, we will need to use the terminal a little bit here for some command line uh, for some command line commands, but we'll just copy and paste them. So it's going to be really easy. And also that's just for the optional verifying steps, which, uh, which I do recommend that, uh, that we do. So anyways, I'm working from a pretty, pretty much clean slate here in terms of like tools. So if you don't have some of these tools, um, I'll walk you through installing them. So let's get right to it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open up a web browser and give a search for Sparrow wallet. Let's go ahead and make sure we click sparrowwallet.com and not um, not anything else, not a .net or not a .org. Let's click download here on the left side. And here you're gonna to need to pick the software for your machine. So um, I have the M1 chip in my Mac, so I'm gonna download this file here. So I'm gonna click that to begin the download. If you don't know which one to click, you can go up here and click this Apple here and you can click about this Mac, and then you can then read here the chip set that you have. You can then go ahead and just download uh, the Mac OS version that's right for you. So now if we want to verify that this file that we downloaded is legit, we will need to download these two additional files, the manifest signature file and the manifest file. So let's get those downloaded. <clears throat> So this is the manifest file and the manifest file contains checksums or basically like unique um, identifiers based on the arrangement of data that makes up these, these files that we just downloaded. So I downloaded the um, arch64.dmg. So I would expect my checksum to equal this one right here. So then the question is, how do we know that this file here, the manifest file is legit? And that's what the manifest signature is. So uh, Craig, the maintainer of this open source project here, he cryptographically signed this manifest file and that yielded this manifest signature. So as part of our verification process, what we're gonna do is we're first gonna download Craig's key from the, from the web and we're gonna make sure that it is in fact his key that uh, signed this manifest signature and that'll guarantee authenticity of this manifest file. So once we could guarantee authenticity of this manifest file, that means that we can then use these hashes in here to determine if what we downloaded is correct. So before we can go out of our way and go get uh, Craig's key, which is actually our very next command here, this, this curl command is to get his key. Um, we need this GPG tool. That way we can hold his key ring somewhere. So um, I don't have it. Um, if you do have it, you can skip this one part. To check if you have it, you can open up a terminal by pressing or holding the command button and pressing space, typing in terminal. And you can you can just search um, or type in gpg dash dash version. And you see, I, I don't I don't have that command. So you would get a version here if you had this. And if you had this, you can skip this step. So our first step is to download uh, and install a gpg. So I think the best way to do that is to use brew. Um, a package manager. So I'm just going to go ahead and install brew. It's super easy. Just Google homebrew and you should, you should arrive at brew.sh. Okay. Um, I know this might seem kind of scary <laughs> if you're like, I'm um, not really a computer person going to these weird named websites, but um, this is, this is some good stuff right here. This is some really good stuff. It's open source, uh, I believe. Um, yeah. Anyways, Brew's good. I really like Brew. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in my terminal to install Brew. And that's asking for my password because it's going to be downloading some, some stuff. And I'm just going to press um, enter.
So yeah, but Brew is just a package manager. You can easily download packages. Yeah, see, fork me on GitHub. Yeah, it's open source. Okay, so Brew is installed. Now we are just gonna do what this says. It says next steps, run this command. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it. And what this command is doing, it, it tells you right here what it's doing. But what it's what it's doing so that you know is it's adding this to your path. It's adding it's adding um, the um, the brew uh, the brew commands that we just downloaded into a place where your where your terminal knows where to find them. So we just got to copy this here by um, highlighting it, Command C, and paste it, Command V, and run it. Okay, so we added that to our shell environment. So I'm gonna go ahead and just close this terminal now because I want the next terminal to be aware of this change. So I'm gonna go ahead and just close this and I'm gonna open up another one. And then I'm gonna type in brew version and there we go. So I have brew installed. So now with homebrew installed, now I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the GPG tools. So I'm just going to open up Google again, and I'm just going to Google um, brew GPG. And here it is, G and UPG. And all we're going to do is we're going to copy this and paste it into our terminal and press enter. So we're just installing um, our GPG tools to, crypt to to handle our cryptographic keys and perform the verification operations, as well as provide like a little database where um, our keys can be like held and managed. This is uh, not like weird stuff either. Like if you're like a programmer, um, you typically, uh, when you're committing code, you're signing your commits and you're signing them um, just like this. So it's 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 not it's not very weird. It's um it's perfectly normal. Okay, so let's see if we have it. We're done installing, so I'm just gonna run gpg dash dash help. Um I think my thing froze. Nope. <laughs> and there we go. Or I mean a better command would have been gpg version. But there we go, see we have an output. If we didn't have it, it would say no GPG tools found. Okay, so we have our GPG tool now. So now we can go ahead and just copy that command from Sparrow, the curl command, which gets Craig's key, and then it'll take this output and put it right into our GPG uh, tool and import with it. So I'm gonna copy this whole thing from curl all the way to import, and I'm gonna paste it, press enter. And there we go. So I already had his key installed, so mine says not changed, but yours would say found. It'll say key imported. Um, you can also see that it's Craig's key, Craig Ra, Craig at sparrowwallet.com, sparrowwallet.com. And there's also the key um, fingerprint here. So we can also cross check this by going to um, Twitter actually. So if we go to Twitter, we can go, uh, we could look up Craig's account. Craig. And in his bio here, he has his GPG key fingerprint here. So um, we have E946 and 4B40, okay? E946, 4B40. So if we go check the terminal, we get E946 in the front and 4B40 at the end. So this is in fact uh, Craig's key that we have. So next step, you guessed it, back to Sparrow Wallet and copy the next commands. So the, the first command we're gonna copy here is cd downloads. So command C, and I'm gonna paste it, command V. And all this command does is, is it's going to move us to our downloads folder. So I need to give access here. So I gave my terminal access to my downloads folder. So here I am in my downloads folder. And, and uh, if I press LS, I can see 
everything that I downloaded, right? Because this is my downloads folder. So from this folder here, I'm going to run the next command, which is G the gpg verify command, where we verify the signature file, the manifest signature file. So we're going to copy this, paste it. And here we go. We can say um, good signature from Craig Ra. So Craig did, in fact, sign this signature. Therefore, we know that the, um, the manifest file is to be trusted. So the next step is to verify um, the checksums from the manifest file to the actual um, program. And that's what this command will do for us. I'm going to copy this command here, Command C, and Command V. And there it is, Sparrow OK. So everything is legit. We can just navigate to our downloads folder and um, begin the download. So I think you could double click this. Yeah. And it looks like I already have it. Um, I'm going to replace it because this is version two. I don't have version two, I don't think. And um, there we go. So. You should be able to, to hold the command button and press space and type in Sparrow. Uh, press open. And here you go, you're in Sparrow now. So um, introduction, since we're here, just follow me to, to, to get online. Just click next, next, next. And then here, click configure server. Um, Click, make sure you're on the server tab here and just click public server until you uh, know what you're doing. But this is how you would connect to your own private node, which I'll show you how to do in another video. So you could just pick a, a public node here. I'm gonna click, pick this one here. You test your connection to it. And um, yep, so you're connected. Create new wallet and you know, there you go, create a wallet, but um, you're online. So that's how you install Sparrow Wallet. Um, you could, you could, uh, Check out my website for a written up version of this. So um, where is this at? So, so here you can go to my website at dprogram.me. And here you can um, see a written up version of this. So if you go down here, click view all posts and then um, create your first uh, Bitcoin wallet with Sparrow. And this is the, the whole write up here. So thanks for watching. Um, Leave a comment if you have any questions. Oh, and lastly, before I forget, uh, you can um, you can go ahead and see, you see this thing right here. You can just get rid of this because that's just your installer. So if you hold Command and press Space, you still have Sparrow. It's it's still installed on your computer. It's just um, you just got rid of the installer. So make make sure you get rid of that.